Hello everyone, this is the Princess Whispers and today I have this video about my Christmas tree that I have created for my room. This is a Christmas tree I bought at a craft store and these are ornaments I bought at the same craft store. And it has tinsel, this hot pink tinsel on there. And then I have this teal tree with a metal pole running up and down it. I just love the sound. It's makes but it's just such a beautiful tree this right here is one of my favorite ornaments and I actually have several of these on my tree but this particular one is a snowman and he is very detailed only my camera could capture his radiance but he has a very detailed scarf and very detailed face well it's not extremely detailed but it's beautiful and a hat and it's kind of a porcelain it's a porcelain um, little figurine and it just looks so lovely I have one here I also have one let's see up here and then one up here lovely lovely and I believe I have another one out right here so I have quite a few um, looks like I have one hidden here by the way you guys ask me a lot about my nails and they're actually colored I had to cut them and I'll show you my other one I had to cut them down because a lot of them are broken, unfortunately. They were in such good shape for such a long time. Oh, and my nail polish is chipping there. What a shame. But, I really like this color, although my camera doesn't pick it up. But it's a pearly color. And it has a shimmer, shimmering gloss on top. So, it's Kind of, it's kind of a pinky toned polish. Fortunately, my camera doesn't pick it up. Anyways, back to my tree. Uh, I also have these little pink bulbs, which I think they make such a beautiful contrast with the teal. And the teal almost looks like a, like a diamondy version of diamondy version of uh, a Christmas tree or a green Christmas tree so I really love the contrast of this pink with the teal I think it looks lovely all right now I'm going to go up and show you the star and this is just a beautiful silver star with the glitter and it just sits so proudly on top of the tree um, it also has tinsel here which is very beautiful 
and oh, I forgot. Here is a candy cane ornament, and this ornament is one of my favorite. And then here's another candy cane, and as you can see, I do duplicate a lot of the ornaments. You see several pink ones, several snowmen, uh, several pink globes. I already said that. I meant several candy canes. And then you'll also see several little glittery spheres like this. And So I, I bought this tree last year. I mean, all I really had on it were these um, these duplicate. Um, I I do duplicate because I like uniformity. I like it to be very uniform and all that. But um, I actually like uh, to have some different ones. Like I was saying, I bought these the silver ones, the globes, the candy canes, the snowmen, the tree, and the star last year. And that actually made up my tree last year. But this year, I have decided to add the pink tinsel because I felt like the tree was a little bit too green or two blue and I love pink <laughs> so I decided to buy the pink tinsel and it's very bright and glittery and festive just like the tree so it's such a festive tree I think so I bought this tinsel this year and I I think that's all I bought for my tree this year but it's um ornaments that I have that are not uniform are right here and this one was actually a tag that was on not a tag but it was a card that was on one of my gifts that was given to me and I decided to keep it because the message on the back is lovely I don't want to show you the message on the back lovely message so I decided to keep this just as a reminder and I read it every now and then but yes that's the one that doesn't have a duplicate and for the other one that doesn't have a duplicate it is this cross this golden cross this actually has different symbols the colors on here symbolize something different and I can't tell you off the top of my head but um, it, it just symbolized different things and I think it's so beautiful and lovely and of course extremely symbolic because what is Christmas without Christ and um, goes perfectly on the tree so I hope you all enjoyed this um, for the Americans because uh, I have many American viewers obviously I did get this tree at a store called Hobby Lobby last year I don't know where you'll be able to find um, a store like Hobby Lobby in the UK but uh, you can also go in the US to Michael's and um, uh, Joann's I believe they have um, probably similar things and you can go find them in any store anywhere in the UK they should have little trees like this and they should sell similar items like tinsel and ornaments 
in the UK stores as well. I've seen them all over the place. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, I think I'll be doing another video very soon. Perhaps just an audio, because those take such a short time to upload onto YouTube. Whereas this one will probably take half a day. It's terrible. But, yes, I will upload this as fast as possible. And those of you who left a... <coughs> those of you who left a request on my last video, I just want to let you know that I have read them, albeit I have not replied. And um, I've read them, I've written them down. I don't want to reply to them because I get too many comments on one video with all of my replies. It's too many comments and it's hard to read all the requests all together. So, um, I'm going to start um, adhering to your requests and make as many people happy as possible. Alright everybody, I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Stay warm if you live in cold temperatures. I'm very cold, so my big fuzzy, fuzzy robe. <laughs> and it is dark outside as you can see. So it is getting near my bedtime. I hope you all enjoy. Have a beautiful night evening or day and I will see you very soon.